Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'll be showing you how to use the KESS 2019 program. The car we're going to test it on is a Vauxhall Corsa 2009 diesel. We're going to go ahead and open the KESS 2019 program. We're going to go on cars to Opel, scroll down for Corsa B, click on the 1.3 CDTI as that's the ECU that we're working with and you'll need to note down Magneti Morelli MJD603.S3. You can write that down or take a picture because we'll need this code afterwards and I'll let you know when ready should be. So make sure that's selected and click OK and OK again and this time go under can once you see this option it gives you five options first one is id second is reading third is writing fourth is recovery and fifth is setup the main steps i'm going to show you is id reading and writing recovery is if anything goes wrong and you want to input the original file back in you use this option and that is very similar to the writing option but that's for another video today I'll just be showing you how to take the ID out read and write a file onto the ECU first we're going to go on to ID and click select turn the ignition on click OK and now you see all the information that's for the basic identification of this ECU we're going to click OK. Go to the original folder. If you haven't got one, you can make one. So let's just call this the Corsa 1.3 Diesel. And we'll go into the folder. And now, what we're going to name this car is Corsa 1.3 Diesel and then we're going to write down the ECU code that it had once that's done we can save it the main reason why we put this code in here is so that we can if we use the other softwares, so the EDR software or the DPS software or even ECM, this is really important for all of them because you have to identify the car from the ECU. Otherwise, you'll go back and forth trying to find out which ECU it was and it wastes a lot of time. Also, you could put down that it was identified using CAN and not K line. And that would be really helpful as well when you're, if in case you do this at separate points in time. So if you turn KESS off and you have to come back to it at another day, then it happens where you forget and you try K-Line and it wastes time that way as well. This is all just to save you some time and it's good practice as well to have everything written down. So once that's done, we can go and into reading and click select. Click OK. Turn the ignition on and click OK. When you're reading, it does ID by itself automatically. So you don't have to do ID again. But the ID we do the first time is to, so that we can save it and have a copy of it. When it does ID during reading, it doesn't give you the option to save it. So when you select OK, it starts with the procedure of reading so you click OK as you want it to proceed and it starts reading the ECU straight away
after the file has been fully read it will open up a save as menu and you can put down Corsair 1.3 diesel original usually what you would need to do is save the registration as well so that you've got a good record of it otherwise if you do another course and save it as the same thing you'll get confused as to which file was for which car so the best thing to do is to put the registration in there as well but for this example i'll just leave it as that click save and that's the file done once you click save that's most of the process done and it asks you to switch the ignition off and click OK and there it says the reading of the ECU has completed and you can click OK on that as well and if you go onto the folder it will show you the original file is saved and it's ready now you can take out the DPF or the EGR or remap it to stage 1, 2 or 3 using any of my previous videos and once you've done that we'll move on to the writing process and if I go into the file that I've done already we'll use the EGR map for this so whichever file you're putting in make sure you put that into this folder as well so that you've got a backup and this one is just EGR so we'll close this we don't need this folder now we'll go on to writing and click select and now we're going to put the EGR file in here so click the file and click open For the Corsair, the reading process takes quite a bit of time, but the writing is really quick. So make sure the battery is still charged, click OK. Turn the ignition on and click OK. Once again, when you do the writing procedure, it will show you the ID as well. And what if it's read the ID that's a good sign that that means software has connected to the car and you should be able to get done with the rest of the process without any connection issues click OK and click OK to proceed to write make sure the file is correct for the selected car we know that's the correct file because we've just taken out the EGR and if it's not in the ECU can be damaged but because our file is made properly we won't have that issue so we can click OK and move on turn the ignition off and click OK and click OK again turn the ignition on click OK And that will start the writing process once you see this here that's the name of the file Turn the ignition off once the loading is done and click OK and click OK and that says the writing of the ECU is completed and now you can click OK again
And once that's done, you can start the car up just to make sure that everything is fine. And if the car starts fine, most likely everything is fine. You can rev it just to make sure the revs are going up normal as well. And if you want to take any extra measures, you can connect an OBD scanner onto the car and make sure that the EZR fault has gone. And that's how you read and write a file using the KESS V2 software. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads. Thank you.